Are you looking to visit or move to Alabama, but would like more information about it before you do? Well, you're in luck, because I'll be talking about that today. So put up your feet, lean back nice and comfy, and let's dig into the 14th state people are moving to in 2019. Like anywhere, there are plenty of bars and things to do in Alabama cities, each with its pluses, minuses, and unique features. Birmingham has clubs and a heated nightlife and a younger crowd. You'll find lots of civil rights memorials throughout Alabama, but in Montgomery, you can visit the home of Dr. Martin Luther King, the Rosa Parks Library and Museum, and the Legacy Museum, as well as lots of memorials. Mobile is great for historic architecture, museums, and the arts. And Tuscaloosa has a number of small colleges, as well as the University of Alabama. But as you leave the city, you'll enjoy a slower lifestyle in the Yellowhammer State. Drivers take their time on the roads and are generally more considerate. Pedestrians should expect friendly greetings when they otherwise wouldn't, as well as random conversations with strangers, aka long-awaited friends. This is but the tip of the iceberg when it comes to these amazingly laid-back people. To the uninitiated, it's a refreshing character trait shared in Alabama and the South in general called Southern Hospitality. In a nutshell, people in Alabama are polite. They understand that saying please and thank you is just good manners. They also say yes ma'am and no ma'am whenever they possibly can. Many people in Alabama express their love of friends, families, and strangers alike by serving large amounts of food. If you eat too quickly, they'll keep filling it up for you. This while telling you at the same time, save room for dessert. The people in this state are kind to each other. They don't hurry through conversations. They have grace under pressure and only get around to worrying when they've run out of things to do. Perhaps the biggest virtue of these good folks is they're charitable to those in need. Alabama is smack dab in the middle of the Bible Belt. This God-fearing region of the United States is known for high church attendance, traditional family values, and conservative politics. Alabama in particular has the highest percentage of people in the country who believe in God, and 86% of its residents identify as Christian. These Christians are mostly made up of Southern Baptists, United Methodists, and non-denominational Evangelical Protestants. When people in Alabama aren't saying, butter my bread and call me a biscuit, they're aggressively following college football. There's an in-state rivalry between the University of Alabama Crimson Tide and the Auburn Tigers, and they battle it out every year at the Iron Bowl in stadiums in Tuscaloosa and Auburn. So, if you're making plans with friends and family, make sure you check that no games are going on or you may find yourself the only one at the cookout. One thing that comes to mind when you think of Alabama is food. Seafood boils, cornbread and milk, boiled peanuts, and sweet tea. Alabamans love their shellfish. There's even a national shrimp festival, and there has been for nearly 50 years. And what would the South be without its delicious slow-cooked barbecue? A lot less saucy, that's for sure. There are more barbecue restaurants in Alabama than you can shake a stick at. Here are two that regularly come up on various scientifically chosen top five lists, and they are Miss Myra's Pit Barbecue in Birmingham, specializing in a creamy version of the traditional Alabama white sauce, the heavily aroma of their smoked pork and chicken reportedly carries on the breeze for miles. Then there's Saw's Barbecue, also in Birmingham. They were rated the best barbecue in America by Men's Journal, and the Alabama News Center ranked their pork stuffed taters in the top 100 dishes to try in Alabama before you die. If you like music and the arts, make sure to attend the Hank Williams Festival, which happens in June. It features lots of live country music. Or go to the W.C. Handy Music Festival for blues and jazz. It happens every July in Florence. If you think you might enjoy the white sand beaches off the Gulf, you can party there for three days of live music at the Hangout Music Festival. This event is the largest of all such festivals in the South. If you're not worn slap out from the music and too much nutrition, there's plenty of great fishing in Alabama. With access to the Gulf of Mexico, 47 reservoirs, and 77,000 miles of rivers snaking through the state, Alabama takes this national pastime to extremes. The official freshwater fish of Alabama is the largemouth bass. Though of course there's tons of catfish, bluegill, crappie, and even stock trout in certain locations. The official saltwater fish in Alabama is the tarpon. You know, that big silverfish that grows up to eight feet long and weighs close to 280 pounds? So how many people do you think live in Alabama? Well, in 2019, the estimated population was 
903,185. This is up 2.6% since the 2010 census. 54.8% of the population is between 19 and 64 years of age, and 16.9% are over 65. This leaves 28.3% for anyone 18 and younger. The biggest cities in Alabama are Birmingham, Huntsville, Montgomery, Mobile, and Tuscaloosa. The fastest growing cities in Alabama are Tuscaloosa, with a 14.16% increase since 2010, followed by Huntsville, coming in at 12.13% growth. Birmingham, Montgomery, and Mobile all saw their populations fall during the same period. For those worried about crime, and let's be honest, who isn't, Alabama has a slightly higher crime rate than most of the country. At 6.44 incidents per 1,000 people, crime is up slightly higher than the national average of 4.49. Of all crimes in Alabama, 18% can be described as violent, and 34% are listed as property crimes. According to SafeWise.com, 56% of survey respondents in 2019 said they worried about crime on a daily basis. In 2020, this number jumped to 59%. Of all the crimes that Alabamans worry about, 72% fear being burglarized, and 30% worry about physical assault. The top five safest cities in Alabama are Rainbow City, Southside, Mountain Brook, Margaret, and Helena. The top five highest crime rates in Alabama are found in Anniston, Fairfield, Lynette, Birmingham, and finally Tarrant. One of the most important things about any place you're interested in moving is home and rental prices. Before diving into the specifics for Alabama, let's have a quick look at the national averages. Across the U.S., buyers pay an average of $217,600 for a home. The average mortgage payment is $1,500, and the average monthly rent is $1,400. Good news! Home prices in Alabama are considerably lower than the national average. The average 2019 home price in the Cotton State is $144,300. The average mortgage payment is $1,123, and the average monthly rent is $1,050. Let's have a look at the hottest real estate markets using 2019 prices. In the Magic City, the median home value is just under $65,000, with rentals going for $850. The listings in the Birmingham Hoover metro area are nearly four times higher, and rentals bumped up $200. In the Rocket City, listings go for almost $260,000, but the actual sale prices are half that. The median rental price per month is $1,085 on the outskirts, or $1,200 a month inside the metro area. In the Azalea City, median home listings go for almost $168,000, and the price for those actually sold is nearly $145. Metro area listings are almost $2,000 higher for both listing and selling. The average monthly rent in all of Mobile comes in at $900. In Montgomery, the capital of the South, the median listing for houses is close to $145,000. The selling price is $121,000, and the median rental is $895. For Metro Area Montgomery, the median listing is $210,950, and houses sold for just under $211,000. Rentals here go for $950. In Tuscaloosa, aka the Druid City, for the oak trees planted by its founding fathers along the downtown streets, median listings go for nearly $210,000, and sell for around $167,000. Metro Tuscaloosa homes list for $219,000, and median rentals go for $1,300. Nice as all that is, last I heard, you can't go around buying houses unless you have money. In Alabama, median household income is $48,486 a year, and the poverty rate is 16.8%, ranking it at 46th in the country, poorest to richest. In 2019, the unemployment rate in Alabama was 3.5%, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The average salary ranges between $17,945 and $119,049, and the average annual pay is $58,356. For comparison purposes, the average national salary is $66,665. The state has a ton of fast-growing industries to attract workers of all types. Aerospace and aviation employs more than 61,000 workers at more than 300 companies, thanks to the upwards of $8.4 billion of DOD contracts Fort Rucker, Redstone Arsenal, and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Alabama has more than 780 bioscience companies, 54 medical device companies, and several leading research facilities. The Cummins Research Park in Huntsville is the second largest technology park in the country, with over 30,000 employees. If you're into chemicals as much as I am, Alabama was the second largest exporter of chemicals in 2018. 
There are more than 200 chemical companies in the state, and the Gulf Coast Chemical Corridor, as it's called, has nearly 30 such companies. Food production is a huge part of Alabama's economy. There are 40,000 farms in Alabama covering 8.9 million acres, employing 33,000 people. Alabama ranks number two in U.S. freshwater fish sales, number three in poultry production, number three in peanut production, and it ranks 10 in cotton production. Other industries in Alabama include metal and advanced materials, automotive manufacturing, forestry products, timber, pulp, paper, and computer science jobs, which are expected to generate over 650,000 new jobs in the next five years. Alabama ranks 11th in the country in terms of affordability and has the fifth lowest taxes in the country. Housing is nearly 30% below the U.S. average, though utilities are 3% higher. The average monthly cost for groceries is $217 compared to the national average of $372. If you need daycare, you'll be happy to hear it's $415 a month lower than the national average of $847. 85.5% of Alabamans have graduated from high school and 24.9% have a bachelor's degree or higher. Forbes ranks schools in Alabama 44th in the country. Their overall quality is ranked 43rd, and they are ranked 45th in terms of safety. These rankings are based on state testing, graduation rates, SAT, ACT scores, and teacher quality reviews from students and parents. Though that might not seem great, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're in luck. Alabama laws are very friendly to homeschoolers with close to 802,000 children being homeschooled at any given time. All right then, let's talk about climate. Alabama has mild winters and very hot, very humid summers and can be described best as subtropical. The average yearly temperature is 64 degrees Fahrenheit, but hotter near the Gulf of Mexico. The average temperature in the summer is a sizzling 90 degrees and the state enjoys 56 inches of annual rainfall. Northern areas, especially Appalachian Mountains, are considerably cooler. Any good discussion of Alabama weather wouldn't be complete without mentioning their tornadoes. They're big, they're violent, and they've been known to literally sneak up on you due to the hilly topography and heavily forested landscape. As for storms, the eastern and northeastern parts of the state get 70 to 80 days of thunderstorms a year. And of course, being a Gulf state, Alabama is subject to hurricanes. Finally, we have some good news. If you're a gardener, you'll love the moderate to long growing seasons. Zone seven in northern and central, Zone 8 from Central to Southern, and Zone 9 on the coast. And here's your frost dates. That's an awful lot of time for growing wherever you choose to live. Okay, now we know how hot it is, but what about the geography? Alabama is divided into five geographical areas. The Highland Rim, located north of the Tennessee River, is known for its gentle rolling hills, soybean, cotton, and corn production. The Cumberland Plateau, also known as the Appalachian Plateau, enjoys a diversity of tree-covered mountains, hills, and flat land. The Piedmont Upland, east of Birmingham, is where you'll find Chia Mountain, the tallest peak in the state. This eastern region has lots of trees, lots of hills, and sandy valleys. The hills contain coal, iron, limestone, and even marble. The East Gulf Coastal Plain covers roughly two-thirds of the state. In it, you'll find the state's biggest farming operations. But given that most of the land is less than 500 feet above sea level, there are also plenty of swamps. That might seem like an awful lot about Alabama, but it doesn't even scratch the surface. Hopefully it helped you in your decision to visit or move there someday. I also hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big Alabama-sized thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'm tempted to say, see you later, alligator, but that's not an Alabama saying. That said, there are alligators in southern Alabama, just so you know. Bye for now.